High Court battle over gravely ill baby ends. How the government plans to break the cycle for New Zealand's youngest offenders. And China relaxes tough COVID rules. At Maria, I'm Shuri Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. A high court battle over guardianship of a gravely ill baby is over, but the path ahead may be challenging. The judge has given doctors at Starship Hospital medical responsibility of the six-month-old who needs an urgent heart operation. His parents won't let doctors use donations from the blood service for the surgery over claims it's all tainted by the COVID vaccine. The parents remain the legal guardians and the doctors are instructed to keep them informed at all times. Liberty Law Medical Law Specialist Rebecca Keenan says the relationship will be difficult as tensions were clearly high. Even to the fact that the judge talked about not being able to take the child out of the hospital if it's against medical advice, which has obviously been happening. The government's looking to break the cycle for New Zealand's youngest repeat offenders. It's launching a $2 million youth crime package to fund locally-led solutions in Auckland, Waikato, Northland and Bay of Plenty. A new fast-tracked intervention approach will be taken for kids aged 10 to 13, dubbed serious or persistent offenders. Within 24 hours of an offender being identified, agencies like Oranga Tamariki, police and social development will become involved. In 48 hours, officials are charged with forming a plan to provide support and build a relationship with the family to stop future offending. Warnings New Zealand still needs its own fuel refining capability and a fleet of its own coastal tankers. Airlines have been told to limit fuel consumption until December 18th after a bad batch was imported to Northland's Marsden Point. The terminal stopped refining jet fuel from crude oil last year and two New Zealand crude coastal tankers were decommissioned. Maritime Union National Secretary Craig Harrison says there was a similar aviation fuel disruption in 2017. The only fuel pipe going to Auckland was ruptured. The only way we got out of that was those New Zealand tankers carting thousands of litres of fuel into the Auckland market. The next fuel shipment is due on Monday. In world news, China has announced the most sweeping changes to its tough anti-COVID-19 regime since the pandemic began three years ago. The relaxation of rules includes allowing infected people with mild or no symptoms to quarantine at home and dropping testing for people travelling within the country. It's the strongest sign yet that Beijing is preparing its people to live with the disease. And a key U.S. runoff victory for the Democrats could spell trouble for the Republicans. Senator Raphael Warnock has defended his seat in Georgia against former American footballer Herschel Walker, who was handpicked by Donald Trump. For the Democrats, it now means they hold a majority in the Senate and don't have to rely on Kamala Harris as a tiebreaker as they have since 2020. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more stories and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai tera. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.